Hello everyone, Overquake here, playing Farming Simulator 2013. Boy, it's been a while. Been playing a couple other games, some of them uh, directly related to it being Christmas time, and some of them just because um, they're a little bit newer, like uh, Professional Farmer 2014, but boy, I've missed this game. Um, missed all the fun that we get to have here and uh, I'm ready to pick up where we left off which was harvest time we had uh, uh, we have one field out of three done let's go ahead and hire a worker here and uh, no I'm not that was horrible that was really horrible let's uh, do this again Go like that. There it goes. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to flip through until I get to this guy. Alright, um, we got beacons in this game, unlike Farming Simulator. And uh, safety first, let's get our beacons and lights on. We'll go ahead and uh, take care of this field here today. Should be a... Uh, almost nostalgic at this point. I mean, it's been 10-15 uh, days, something like that, since we've played this game. I've uh, really missed it and uh, excited to be back here expanding our farming empire that we had uh, got a good start on. And uh, it's going to be nice to go again on this. So uh, I've kind of forgotten the field numbers. Um, which field is it that we're currently Okay, we're on 10. Alright, so we're on field 10 right now. Uh, working it real hard. It's harvest time. Time to pick up this wheat. And uh, I think I was just... It looks like um, my plan was to just take this to our temporary silos for now. So, yeah, so that's what uh, we're going to do here. The, um, didn't we finish a field last episode? We did, so I don't know why I don't have... Why I'm not already seeding a new one. Once we finish this row, we'll go ahead and make sure that's taken care of. Because I want to make sure we're... Yeah, I want to make sure we're still on track. So we've got our wheat storage. That was uh, the 65,539. That was from... The other field, 16, I think it was called. Boy, yeah, I mean, it's been two weeks since I played this game. I'm trying to remember. But uh, I think that was field 16. So um, we're going to go ahead and make sure that, that we should... I mean, we should get even more out of this field. I'm going to flip through to the other one. Yep. Safety first. And let's get this guy out and get him working. We've got uh, a new field to go. And if we've got wheat already in the silos, I would like to switch to barley for the next one. I'd like to kind of rotate through the crops so that we can take advantage if there are any great demands. So I'm going to adjust my headphones just a tiny bit because it's super loud in my ear. Um, I checked the volume settings before I started. I don't think it's really that loud in the actual game. I think my headset's just set up really loud. So, okay, so we want to switch seeds, right? To barley. Canola. Yeah, right, barley. Okay. So let's go ahead and lower and hire a worker. And then with the front, turn on the fertilizer and have it just do everything for us. Yeah, I'm loving that. I mean, you can't you can't do that in Professional Farmer. Look at this. This does everything all for you all at once. Good stuff. Good stuff. And that's on, right? Yeah, that's on. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back here. Safety first. And now that we know that's going... We can probably 
come back out here and check on this guy. Check on our combine. Let's see if we can't catch up to him before he makes the turn. Maybe. Maybe. We might be able to just barely catch up to him. Hey, he didn't even fill up or anything. Oh yeah, he was starting to. He was starting to. There we go. We caught that guy just in time, didn't we? That's just in time. That's perfect, though. Um, that's what we want, is we want the ability to be able to go and take care of something really quick. That's one of the reasons we upgraded that guy to the, uh, to that big case harvester. Now, uh, we do have the ability, now that we've got, uh, I know that this particular vehicle had the ability to, there it goes, it's filling up. That's the reason we set up this second, this second unit was so that we could go ahead and have um, two going at the same time. So we can go ahead and have him start on the same field that we're already harvesting. Let's try not to hit the buildings. Refill? There you go. Yeah, fill up. Fill her on up. Now we can see it in the distance. What time is it right now? It is, um... Oh, I forgot. It's already up in the top right corner. Oh, it's been a while since I played this game. All right. Uh, good. So 6, uh, 6.46 in the evening. So we've got plenty of... Well, not plenty. We've got a tiny bit of daylight left. But plenty of day left, anyway. And, uh... We can probably... We, can def we should definitely be able to get this field completed on, uh, in this episode. Next time we can finish up our last field and take care of that. That should be great. So let's get him set up so that we can get barley being planted on this field as well. And I mean, that's the whole point and why we have two of these guys. Uh, v, V, higher, and switch to the front, turn it on. Hop out and switch to this tractor. Alright, which is halfway full. Safety first. And now we can try to catch up again. See where the combine's at. Hopefully it's not stuck. Oh, the pipe just went out though. So it's getting close to full. So we want to get down there as soon as possible. But it looks like it's going to round the corner, and that'll give us a little bit of a little bit of time as well to get down there and catch up a little bit. All right, as long as we swing around pretty fast, we'll be fine. There we go. That's fine. Yep. Yep. No productivity lost at all. Uh, that combine's amazing. Nice big internal storage, huge header on it. Loving it. Just loving it. And there, yep, doing two things at once. Well, more than two things at once, right? We're um, harvesting, putting it into the tipper. We are cultivating, seeding, and fertilizing. And we're doing all of that simultaneously, which is pretty impressive, I think. I'm liking it. I miss this game. Uh, one of the things about this game I like is that you can um, definitely do a lot of different things all at once. Um, in Professional Farmer, I, I'm just getting started, so maybe that's part of it too, is I don't even have the ability to hire workers to help me out. and uh, So in this game we've got we definitely have that ability we've got lots of people working for us all doing the same thing we've got three hired workers right now working and so that's fantastic um, can't do that in the other game but I'm still enjoying playing both they're 
they feel different. Um, they're both farming simulation games, sure, but they have a different playstyle to them, and I'm really liking both. Don't really have an opinion about one better than the other. They're different, and I'm having lots of fun. And just because you've seen a few episodes of me doing Professional Farmer 2014, because it's the newer game, I think uh, hopefully you'll be excited to see this episode to show that I've definitely not stopped playing this game. Still having too much fun to do anything like that. Having lots of fun with it. So, yep, not stopping anytime soon. Nearly full on this. Time that. No, I timed it all wrong. I'm out of practice. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going again. Driving through the crops. I shouldn't do that. Oh well. And full. Alright, so. This guy's full right now. We'll take him back to our silos. Dump him off and hopefully make it back in time before the combine's completely full again. I've noticed that there's still a little tiny strip of wheat over on this field and uh, field 10 and 17, I think they are. I think there's still a little bit that's not quite completely grown yet on both of those, so... Oh well. Uh, if we need to pause it and advance the time, we can always do that. Not a problem at all. Oh yeah, well, it kind of is, because now we're running... Because right now we've got so many hired workers, I don't like to advance time when we've got a worker going. Because getting paid by the hour is kind of weird when you're not even um, when time is going fast forward so you see there's still that that side there yep not quite finished yep. hopefully that finishes up by the time we get to it uh, I don't know if it will make it or not but we'll see we'll deal with it Whatever happens, we can deal with it. We're a, uh, you know, we've got our farming empire. We're used to little minor hiccups here and there. We can handle things like that. Not a problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. Listen, your pipe rammed into us there. I don't know if you noticed. You need to watch it a little bit. Now I'm hauling all this stuff for you. You could at least be slightly courteous. Wouldn't hurt you. Okay, filling up. A couple more passes and we'll be to the part that's not yet fully grown. So we'll just have to deal with that when we get there. I don't know. It might finish while we're while we're working this part. Hard to say. Yeah, um, definitely been having a lot of fun, been playing a couple of different games, trying to manage that out with uh, schedules and all that stuff, trying to make sure that at least a video gets out. I have been... Uh, during the bulk of December I was doing a... I have been doing a... Minecraft Christmas adventure that's been a lot of fun and it, it was a daily challenge a, a daily adventure so had to put a lot of those videos out so some of these like my farming games which is what I play mostly uh, I've been putting some of those off in order to get the uh, the dailies done. The uh, only reason I really did that was because the Minecraft map was very Christmassy and it felt very seasonally appropriate. It was um, 
It was a good thing to do for December to do a uh, map in the snow and a game that Im kind of revolved around Christmas time and I had a lot of fun with it, but it's kind of winding down at this point. I mean, there were only 25, only 25 activities, so it's kind of winding down. Oh, now I'm in the way. You go. Yeah, you go first. Sorry about that. I couldn't see for a moment because there was a giant tree in the way, you see? And I apologize for that. But really, it's the tree's fault, Mr. Combine Operator. So don't blame me. Also, I'm the owner of this farming empire, so you can't fire me anyway. Just gonna have to deal with it. Yep, it's true. Money's going down pretty fast, I noticed. Since we've got two hired workers and all of that stuff, there's some weird stuff going on at the other corner of this field. My screen was... I was seeing, like, some really weird glitchy stuff. There, it was going again. I don't know if that's, like, the fertilizer dust or something. But it's just sort of popping in and out and in and out. Uh, strange. Very strange. Now it looks much more normal. Maybe it's just because we were just at the just right distance to where some of it was rendering in my view and some of it wasn't. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, what else have I got to talk about? I've got to talk about... Uh, I talked about the Minecraft map I've been playing. I talked uh, briefly about Professional Farmer and how it wasn't taking, wasn't going to take away from me playing this game and that I was playing both. Uh, I did pick up a new game on Steam. I want to put something out for it. Um, see if there's any interest. See if people like it. Like it. Um, we'll see. So there might be a um, kind of trial episode of that coming up soon. That will be exciting. That will definitely not happen until after Christmas. Because I need the room in my schedule to be able to handle it. And I can't really do that until I my Minecraft map finishes on December 25th. Um, yeah, it looks like that after Christmas would be the earliest time I could possibly handle doing that. But uh, that'll be coming up soon anyway. Right around the new year, looks like. Um, Right out in between Christmas and New Year's, or just after New Year's, not sure, but uh, well, I'm gonna try out a new game, see if uh, anybody likes it. That'll be fun. Um, what else? Um, Seven Days to Die. Been playing that game. That that also kind of got some of those episodes kind of got held up again by the Christmas episodes I was doing. So I need to get back into that and haven't done that yet, but need to get back on schedule with that. I do have a plan in my head about all of that, making that work. So, everything's going to be fine, and after Christmas everything's going to go back to normal anyway. So, yep. Um, what else, what else? I think that's about it. As far as channel news, etc. Um, subscribers are still slowly climbing, uh, and I'm excited to see that. I'm just, I'm excited to see every time I get even one more subscriber, that's a, that's a good day. You know, someone else takes the time to watch these videos, and I appreciate that. I know I definitely do like making them, and I hope I hope out there that people like watching them. Um, what else? Oh, um, I had all of my, speaking of Christmas, I had all of my family activities, like where we were going and 
and all that stuff. I had all of that stuff completely figured out until I changed jobs. So I, um, I did change jobs in the middle of December. All of our family activities were set up for Christmas Eve, <clears throat> which I thought was a good plan and pretty safe. <clears throat> My new job uh, we're working on Christmas Eve, so... I don't know, now everything's up in the air, not really sure... Uh, what day everything's gonna happen, what we're doing, things. I don't know, everybody's just so busy, it's like... We've got... A couple people like me that have Monday through Friday jobs, and then we have other people in the family who work more of a retail schedule, and they're... <clears throat> They're the most busy on the weekends, and I'm... I have my most free time on the weekends. It's just... Kind of a mess. I don't know. I haven't figured it all out yet. How to make it work. But we will make it work, somehow. We'll figure it out. This little corner here has not yet grown. So I'm going to try just to bump up the speed. I don't want to do this too long. It's going to waste just way too much money. But I'm kind of hoping maybe if I just advance it like one hour, maybe this will finish up and become completely grown. Oh, my mouse is being all weird. There we go. Hopefully, we can get it to finish up. Let's switch to the combine. Oh, safety first. It's getting dark. So yeah, I really need this to finish. So I was hoping if I could just advance one or two hours that everything would pop up and be done. But it's just not wanting to cooperate, is it? No. Just not gonna do it. Um, do, 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 do. Still growing, still growing. Yeah, we still have those two little bits. We're still growing. What are our grow speeds? Normal? It's probably safe. Safest to do that. Well, darn it. It's not going to do it. I wanted to see if I could get this whole field wrapped up this episode, but not if it's going to be like that. Well, I... Come on. Go. Go. No? Nothing? a shame. Oh, now it's my rain? That'd be bad. Okay, well, I guess I'll take care of this off camera, and we'll start on the next... Yeah, we'll start on the next field. Uh, this guy over here, field 17. I wanted to wrap this this part up too, but I'm not sure it's going to let me. I'll go ahead and take care of that, this little part off screen, and then we'll start on on uh, Field 17 next episode. Everybody, this has been Overquake playing Farming Simulator 2013. Hope you enjoyed it, and everybody have a great day.